Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, uh, Crazy Cute Dude here, and um, I actually just got done watching the movie Frozen, which, I don't know if you can hear me by the way, I mean, the mic's like this close, but I don't know if you can hear me, but um, I just got done watching Frozen, it is the latest Pixar Disney movie, I think it's Pixar anyway, but anyways, it's the latest Disney movie, and it no spoilers, this is just the review of it, because uh, I wanted to give my, like, my instant reactions, and etc. So, um, uh, the movie is, no spoilers, the movie is about um, two sisters who grew up in this castle of royalty, and um, something to note here is that they're not, like, stuck up, they're not it like, oh, I get everything I want, you know, I'm the princess, you know, they're not like that, and they're both really young, and as you may have guessed, the, one of the sisters has ice powers, and, uh, eventually, uh, not giving away major plot points, but eventually, she, uh, well, I guess I can tell you this, eventually, she becomes queen, and crap happens, and uh, she is really scared, and she run runs away, and she creates this awesome ice castle. And uh, her sister thinks that she can make her bring back winter or bring back summer, because she, in her fit of uncontrollable rage, she accidentally froze the entire land. So her sister thinks that being her sister, she can go and convince her to put the put everything back the way it was to bring summer back and on the way she meets th um she meets a character by the name of i forget his name i'm bad i've been bad with movie and names um christoph that's right his name is christoph and uh, both of them go on us go on uh, go on a search with uh, to go find her sister and um, try and bring back Summer. That's the premise of the movie. And along the way, they actually meet this uh, snowman character that's uh, alive by the name of Olaf. He is funny. He's got some funny stuff in there. I mean, they all have funny stuff. I mean, the funny lines mainly come from um, the funny lines mainly come from Olaf and Kristoff. Um, both of them are very funny in this movie. But that's all I'm going to say about it. And obviously there is going to be a bit of a romance story. But I'm not going to get involved with that. So. What I think of the movie. It's funny. It takes itself serious when it has to. And it doesn't really force anything upon you. It um, it shows the it shows the life changes that go on between the girl with the powers and the sister without powers. Um, uh, in the movie, I was actually kind of, I was kind of expecting, uh, the non-superpower sister to have, like, uh, in order to bring back, um, in order to bring back, uh, Summer, I thought she would have, like, heat powers, but, you know, uh, I was wrong, but, uh, that would have been cool, I would have loved to see that, um, but, you know, I mean, what, uh, what they gave, what they put out was very good. I'm just gonna say this straight up. Frozen, maybe what people call a princess Disney movie. It it does have two princesses in it. One does become queen, but I, I mean she's not like one. Uh, like I said, neither girls are stuck up. You know, oh I'm the queen. I'm the princess. I can do what I want. Uh, the queen, like I rule with an iron fist. No, N neither of them are like that. But. The movie is very good. It's funny. It has a love interest story. And uh, it's very, very, very fun to watch. In fact, I'm like half tempted to go watch it right now. Most movies that I get, I skip through like at least two to three minutes of the boring parts. There are no boring parts. And just when you think they've gone on with the scene for a little too long, it immediately, it, the action picks up like that. Or something happens. And it, there's never a boring moment where you're sitting there like, okay, can we get through this? Come on, what's next? There's never a moment like that. Never. Which is very good. Um, so, you know, I mean, 
Like I said, it's funny. It takes itself serious when it has to. There is a message in there that's not forced. They don't repeat it and drill it into your head like 500 million times. But it's a very good movie. I recommend anyone to see it. I don't care if you're a girl. I don't care if you're a dude. I don't care if you're elementary, middle, high school. I'm in high school. I love this film. This film was really good, and uh, I'm f for my score, I'm going to give it 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. That's how good of a movie this is. It's cute. Everyone in that movie is very appealing to look at. There's no there's no one in that movie that you just want to like, shield your eyes from. Never. And uh, they do actually mix different parts of the world. I don't think it ever specifies what part of the world they're in, but it does specify, sorry, it does, um, bring in, there's a, a German guy in there, there's French guys in there, uh, but it's very, 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 very interesting, I love it, I love it as much as I love Wreck-It Ralph, that, and I love that movie, but that's, I'll do that review another time, so, I give this movie a 9 out of 10. The only reason, I'm, or maybe 9.5, I'm not sure, something like that. But the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 or a, a, something higher is because, or something like a 9.75 is because it's only like an hour and 32 minutes. The movie, like, I mean, I understand that they don't want to make it like a two hour film and bore you to death, but, I mean, I think that they should have made it just a tad longer. And, by the way, the music in this movie is phenomenal. The The lyrics are amazing. The singers are amazing. They, they just... It, the music, it's it's really good. Like, you do not feel annoyed with it. And sometimes the music can be extended a little bit. But, you know, they, they don't run, like, a five-minute sing-along scene. No, never. I think uh, the longest song is probably about two and a half minutes, I'd say. I think it, I mean, it just felt like longer, but it, it, in reality, it was probably like two and a half minutes, but this movie felt really short. It's like an hour and 32 minutes. I wish it were longer. I do understand they don't, well, they, they don't want to extend it, and they want to make it, you know, a tad, like, they don't, they want to make it like an average time, but man, I wish it were longer, because I want to see more of this film. And the you are very emotionally tied to these characters. You you want to see everyone live. Uh, you want well, not everyone. No, I'm not going to say everyone because there are a few d bags in there that you're going to hate. And by the way, there are very interesting twists that you are not going to see coming. You are not going to see coming. Holy crap! And that uh, that movie does not leave you guessing anything. It doesn't leave the saying like, okay, what happened with this? What happened with that? Um, like, it doesn't make you think, like, how did this happen? Why did it happen? What was the purpose? Nothing like that. This movie is amazing. Uh, I feel like watching it right now. I really do. I just got finished watching it. I want to see it again. This movie was really good. The animation was amazing. I, I, I want to get this thing on Blu-ray when it comes out. And screw the people who think it's a princess movie. The, um, I mean, what's wrong with princess movies sometimes? It's not a princess movie. It's a very good movie. But, I mean, Cinderella was a princess movie. That was good. Um, you know, uh, what I do like about Disney is that they don't have stuck-up princesses. They're not like, ooh, I own this, I own that, I'm the princess, you follow me. I mean, yeah. So, this movie is very, very good. Please watch it. 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. Please, I hope to God there's a sequel. Alright. Uh, this has been Crazy Cube Dude, signing out. Peace. Go watch this movie.